Today I'd like to show you how we do change orders within the project management system of the TabOps database. To do a change order, you'll simply click on change order to the right here. What happens is it opens up the, the screen. You'll simply request to buy. Description, let's do demo. Hit submit. Ask you if you want to submit the change order. Simply hit yes. It says a folder is not created. Just create a folder. And what happens is it opens up, it opens up an Excel document here. What happens with this is you can simply select your quantity, you can move material, description of work, or labor. Let's just do, let's actually simply just do labor demo, and let's four hours times $50 an hour gives you $200 for a $200 change order. With this, you'll simply close it out and hit save. And ask you when you're ready, please hit continue to import the change order. So hit continue. And ask you email a change order to the contractor PM. This, this time we'll hit no. Do you want to approve this change order? Well, unless you have a PO in hand or a check in hand, you always want to click no. And what happens here is within the tab op screen, you'll notice the contract total turns red. What that does, it lets you know that you have pending change orders that's not been approved. In order to approve these change orders, you'll simply double click on the price there and come up here and to submit the change order, hit this button here and simply close that out. You'll see the contractor total turns blue with 50,200 as the amount of change orders up here to the top. And that's as simple as it is to do change orders.